push all the way to this location here. And then two's going to push to this location. All right, welcome back, everybody. We had a, a technical difficulty or one or two. We're good to go. You can hear me right. You can see everything. We're good to go. Got a bunch of blue guys and surgeons briefing. Hopefully that's what you're seeing. Hutch is telling guys what to do. And we're going to go live pretty soon. Sorry for that extra long delay. We didn't mean for that to happen. Let me go over some stuff really quick. My name is Buff. I'm here with Barton. Say hi, Barton. Howdy. Hi. And uh, <laughs> we're doing Operation Home Guard on Samari. This is, of course, Squad Ops. It's May 13th, 2017. We've got the militia against the insurgents. The militia are going to defend a point. The insurgents are going to attack. <laughs> the, militia, uh, the militia get one squad and a logi to start at their selected defense point, which appears to be to the northwest of where I'm at right now. I can see them up there. So they are up in Charlie 2 somewhere, it looks like. The insurgents will attack. They'll do everything they can. They can scrounge any vehicle they want while doing so. The militia get a dish kateki and a, and a logi. That's it. They get the logi jump. They dump. They can build mortars or dishkas or whatever they want. And they can build a ton of sandbags or razor wire. It's all up to them. Do whatever they want to. Um, we have certain lines that neither team can cross. As far as the east goes, the militia cannot cross the Charlie Delta line to the east. That's usually not a problem because they have to defend a certain area. The militia or the insurgents cannot cross basically the Bravo two and three, like seven, eight, four, five, one, two line. So it's kind of a iffy, weird line there. But that's where the insurgents can't cross. And they usually don't either because most of, for the most part the defense point is centralized in the Bravo Charlie line area ish. I'm glad we got the stream running good for you guys. It's hard trying to trying to make it the best of the best. Sometimes you run into technical issues. And, but we're not going to quit. We're going to keep plugging through and make it happen. In the meantime, let's go over these cameras. These cameras that you guys are going to see all these other angles and different views. There's me and Barton, obviously. Then we've got a crazy Russian, the Neils, Google Tricks, XBit, Server Error 404, CMYK Matter, Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, Hyper Evo, Big Yes, and Merrick 362. Thank you to all of those guys that are doing that. It's not possible without them at all. And, of course, Penn, the cameraman, he's back there. He's waving at you guys right now. You can't see it, but he's waving. He's fucking 20 seconds off. We're live. We're live. We're going it. We're Looks like we're live. Looks like we just went live. We're doing it live. Insurgents are pressing straight west. Let's go over command real quick. Uh, same as first round for the insurgents. Now it's Hutch, Jaffe. Or Hutch's command, Jaffe, Shadow Ritual, OD Tap, and Xbit are his squad leaders. But I think we've had a change on the militia side. What do you got going over there? Uh, we have. So actually, our command on militia at Quirkly, uh, something came up and he can no longer command anymore. So we've got, uh, as a replacement from him, Best Pony, who used to run uh, Squad 2 uh, in the last round. He got promoted, and he is now going to be the command for militia. So that's Best Pony taking over for command. And taking his squad lead place, we've got uh, fresh to the squad leading role, we got Jack Reynolds. So this is going to be his first time squad leading, and yeah, that's the little mix-up. Other than that, it's going to be the same people as last round. So we got squad two is Satan, squad three is led by a turtle guy, and then squad four is being led by CG Fu. Well, we've already got contact up on the northwest, just straight away from away from Inisha, uh, sorry, Insurgent Maine. And right now, I'm catching tracers from CG Fu. He's a squad leader up to the north. Someone got hit. He actually hit somebody. Hit wow. No kidding. I have Hyper not heard over comms yet. Dentrick got hit for the militia. Oh, gosh. Jaffe's down. That was squad leader. Jaffe's down. Shelves got him through the murder hole. This Hutch is right there. Hutch have command. He's right there. He's in a dangerous contact. spot. Up and over. Hutch throws a nade up and over. There's Shelves. Is he going to get him? He's going to get him. He got him. Shelves is down. Great nade by Hutch. And oh, Hutch is down. He ate his own grenade, too. Oh, I am Sam, also down. QFF. So we got a four-way trade right here. Hutch went down. A couple other guys. But big thing is that was Hutch. That's the command for the insurgents. So, bam. Huge hit to the insurgents. Their command is down. Insurgent command is down like already? Hutch is Who's down? Commander. 
Yeah, Hutch is down. He just went wow. down. Wow. The the militia are really close up here on the northwest. And oh. I'm not sure where their fob's at. But you see that movement going around there, Muff? Uh, that flank that's coming up? It looks like an OD tap and uh, survey air. They're down there. They're going to hit this uh, Risa, these reinforcements from, from uh, the militia here pretty quickly. Oh, They're yeah. going to come okay. right behind them. There's two squads. Actually, there's two squads down there. But they're hesitant. They've lost their commander, and that is going to slow them down a bunch. They had to. Uh, they spawned on the southern main, so we have time to make. Yeah, copy that. Apparently, we were live a, a while ago too. We so we got a late start. The insurgents definitely got a late start. So the militia was able to move around and push, which is why they're up here. The militia are up here right now. They should have started. This might be their defense squad, actually. Yeah, this is where they're defending. Mm-hmm. I would get online. Oh, yeah. They can't. Uh, we've got we've got a miscommunication going yeah, on. Contact here. direct south. Copy Burns. Burns, you, there's another disco over here. Okay, we need to come get this disco up right here. I know. Best ponies so got, here. Yeah, best yep. ponies made it. So we're. That's good. gonna be their command. That's gonna be the command. Yeah, best ponies oh, command. he's right yep, near so that contact. Good. Oh, oh here they come. Go Tear gun. Bombardian eraser. There's best pony. Best pony's down. Both commands are down. Both commands are down early. That is crazy. All right, ZOZ. Uh, I'm going to fill you in. we got a late start to round two. Basically, the militia have to pick a point. They pick a compound, and you can see we're kind of looking at it right now. The militia pick that compound, and they have to defend it. There's a couple of kickers, though. One is that only one squad gets to spawn there with a Logi truck. The rest of them have to come in from the far west. And as you can see, they're filtering in right now. Not to mention that the insurgents are throwing a ton of smokes, and they're looking to get in there and get dirty before the rest of the militia team can get in. But the militia, or the yeah, the militia need to defend these points while they get reinforcements. And so the insurgents are doing a good job of moving in right now while they've got the advantage in the in the, the surprise element, basically. The the command who is best pony who is now down for the militia. Could set a fob, and I think he set a fob. I sure hope so. And and then the rest of his squad leaders can build. They can build stuff around around the point with the logi truck. They get the one logi dump to supply it. And man, it's getting crazy right now. Look at this. The insurgents are pushing in from the south. Everything's getting close. There's smoke grenades everywhere. OD taps running in through the smoke. Tear guns running in through the smoke. That's two squad leaders right there. The Iron Tyrant, Glock 712, Fergie, Server Error 404, crawling through the field. Google Trek's Northwest, Centurion with him, and Immune Style as well. Battles going out to the West as well, where Insurgents and Militia are getting dropped. There is just so much going on right now. This is getting out of control. It's crazy. Shit going crazy to the North. Yeah, Filling the blank. Tear guns everything's really kind of broken down with all the commands being gone. Oh, that is. Man, yeah. There's so many commanders are dead. There's no comms. I've got no comms at all. Same. <laughs> There's just local, local stuff being yelled out. I haven't even heard over these commands that a uh, command is down. Like it, this is just it's radio silence. I think also no, I, a lot uh, of our squad leaders are down. Burns should saw him go down. Oh, Burns goes down though, so he can't relay that information. See, even even early on when that first contact started started happening at the defense point, I didn't even hear comms relayed to the uh, squad moving to support that they were taking contact yet. Oh, There's, what a oh. nade! Three people just got down by a nade! Google Trek's Iron Tyrant and Immune Style just all got taken out. I don't know who threw that grenade, but it was... Oh! Yeah, it was server was error 404. Blue oh, blue. he fucked up. <laughs> he screwed <laughs> up and killed three dudes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and he, he's, a, he's a squad leader now, too, so he's like, I just killed three people on accident. <laughs> and squad command chat. That was funny. That poor guy. Uh, that, that one, well, okay, so it was tied, but now the insurgents are a little behind because of that awesome grenade. I assured over these uh, commands now that there is contact on the fob. That uh, I got contacts very close on the fob. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's like Warrior Poet and Fergie right here. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to find the fob. I don't know exactly know where it's at. Oh, tear guns getting close. I'm, I'm filtering through here. Where's, where yep. is it? I just I just should comes they're on it. Uh, I'm above it right now. It's where uh, server air is actually. It's in this little oh, port Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. It is in there. Yep, it's right here. They 
they, right now they've got control of it. The uh, insurgents have control of this fob area. CMYK matters, the closest one to it, and he's not anymore. Oh, there it is. Holy cow, it's right in the wide open. That's why I didn't see it. I was looking in buildings. Push up, you got about 15... So if the insurgents take that out, there's that's all all the building and defenses for the militia, and they're, it's going to be straight one-on-ones. Thing is, the insurgents get a little bit better kits. They get two raiders and a scout. So they're they're loaded on grenades. They've got the the scout kit for big booms if they need it. And you know that's something we haven't seen yet. No uh, no IEDs placed down or anything. And there's no restrictions against that. <laughs> yes, Shadow Ritual. Very unfortunate. Poor poor server error 404. I be, feel bad for him. This is just nonstop gunfire. This is crazy. I can't even keep up. I can't, Ronald Reagan goes down. Satan is about to sneak around and kill more people. I don't know. It is There's amazing smoke the difference flying. between the two rounds. The first round, tons the of organization, bomb. a lot of communication, very structured, just executing a plan to <laughs> just uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's just it fell apart for both teams. Their, their command's down. People are dying. What are we at? 23 to 19. So the, the militia has actually got the lead here. Got a little yeah. bit of a lead. It would probably be tied if there was Insurgents, not that though, one grenade. They, they accomplished the objective. The radio is gone. The FOB is down. So they actually accomplished the their objective. They, Especially for they a less it. than ideal start, too, with being live being called early and people moving and still getting reorganized. You know, this is turning out okay. We've got a good battle going on. I'm going to back up a little bit, see if there's anyone holding back. Yeah, there are. There's a couple insurgents holding back, being passive. But they got pushed by militia as well. Here we are, 24 to 19. Militia do have the key. Oh, good grenade. Warrior Poe goes down. I'm not sure who got him, but that was a good grenade. Fill in the blank, shooting a Truth Realm. Truth Realm's actually bandaging, so he hit him. Fill in the blank. Here's the bandage. He's going in for the kill, but he gets taken out because he's being watched. Uh, S. Klein and the gaming Brennan both taking him out. Fulcrum gets taken out from the northeast. we got three insurgents coming in from the northeast. Oh, oh, there goes a fucking... <laughs> it was Truth Realm. He was a scout. He had a... <laughs> Must have been an IED, and he took himself out. He was the only casualty of it. So we are at six kill deficit for the insurgents. But they do have the <laughs> perimeter a little bit. Uh, I just heard Much the first around little around bit around. of uh, command comms in a very long time. It was a Turtle 5 guy coming over. Uh, he's the leader of Squad 3. And uh, I just heard him say, I guess I'm command now? Uh, <laughs> this is after a good five minutes of, of no comms. All right, there's two guys left with squad leader. It's Server Arrow 404 and Dermoplast for insurgents. So. Basically, a server error is by himself, and he's not moving. And Dermoplast is up here with two other guys, and he's like, I'm waiting for them to come this way. Well, that's not going to work because they're not going to push. They're defending. So Dermoplast is going to have to push eventually. He's got Turner and Zabari with him. Hopefully they can do something. Copy that. I'm the only one left. Do what you can. Try to work your way down towards Definitely a militia advantage right now. But I understand if you're pinned down. And it's really looking like it's going to be their favor. Right but we have seen so some stuff happen before. Yeah, we're, we're going to try and throw it down to you. Down to Megan, go greedy. Alright, uh, everyone's dead except for squad lead two. We're going to move our way down there and try to sneak up and link up with him. Just like he's like one yeah, guy. All right, Dermoplast saying we're gonna go move. We're gonna get close. He's taking command of this little squad, this three-man element. What if we move? They've got some work to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Four on eleven. So. And there's a the whole freaking team is looking towards server error four hundred four right now. This is kind of funny. They're all spreading out. We still got two medics too. As we hold the. Yeah. We still got two medics too. This is the. Uh, that's good. 
We're on the Neils. He's covering a, got, a first hands, door. Yeah. Get inside. Make sure mm -hmm. you're in hard cover. The insurgents are still talking in local chat. They're doing all the strategizing. They're figuring out where they're going to go. They're talking about, I'm going to go to this wall and that wall. And I mean, when it all comes down to it, it's, it's going to be whether they can get across or not. And server error 404 goes down to the south. It's down to three guys in the north. They're in luck, though. The entire militia team is looking south. So if they sneak up quietly, there's, there's a good chance they could, you know, kill one or two before they get wiped out it's not good it's not looking good for him I'm not writing them out yet but could be rough i mean there's one there's there's a full squad spread out between two buildings they're looking out every door and window no don't don't go, don't come out here. the thing is that the fob is already down which was great for the insurgents that helped them out so much took out all the defenses and everything there goes a, another boom. What is that bounce in there? Uh, whatever. <clears throat> so Turner is right on the north side of the compound, but there's no windows. There's not a single window on this north side. There's nothing. So he's he's turned to cover the northeast corner. Someone's throwing a frag over Dermoplast, throwing a frag over the wall. It's not going to do him a lot of good, especially with that one. He blew up a cart. Turner hears him, though. Turner called him out. He hears him moving. He's going to peek that So, what do we got for, uh, for numbers, at. Muff? What's that? What do we have for numbers left on uh, H2? Oh, for numbers, there's four. No, there's three. Three insurgents left. I think there's like 11 or 10 or 11. Two, no four, kidding. Six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, there's eleven militia, three insurgents. Yeah, and I Dermal do see how they're all just kind of held up into the into the buildings there. So it, it's some they that is a great cover of that compound. All of them got those windows. It's a uh, oh, I get yeah, a little kick out of that. An IED on the back of that building would be awesome. And Turner's got the freaking kit. He is the kit. Oh, he's got his phone out. Right, we need to make a move now. He's got his cell phone out. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know where the ID is. Oh, it's there. It's there. It's like... It Wait, there's close. there's actually an IED there? Oh, there it oh. was. It blew up on me. He got two. He got Hitchens and someone else with it. Oh, that was a good boom. Like, I was right over it when it blew up or something. I don't know where it was, but... He got a couple with it. They're only down five now. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So he did get two. We lost two. We lost two. Who did we do? Okay, yeah, it looks like it was two. They were just right now on a, a militia. They were trying to figure out how many they lost from that. They're debating between if it was one or two, even though that uh, the two died in the same room as a couple others. And that's the thing. Once you're dead, you can't talk anymore. Or, or we will chew you out and kick you out and tell you not to do that anymore. So for the most part, we're down to a couple of... One of you moving? Nope. Yeah, it's me. Nope. A couple right, of lucky we'll shots here for the insurgents to get it back in. Turner's moving in, though. He's, he's checking every corner. He's being so tactical. So right now in militia, they're trying to have discipline on their movement so they can all just listen. Uh, someone, someone moved a little bit, and there was uh, they wanted to make sure who's doing what so they can all just listen. Oh yeah, that's and that's great that listening thing. That's something that you I've seen happen a lot more recently. You can hear things. You can totally hear people walking up, and the sound is great oh. in this game. It's wonderful. The that devs, might be a nice. OWIs oh, does such a good job with the sounds in this game. It's beautiful. He and just overthrew that it. frag a little it. bit. I don't know if I'm bleeding. So you can hear where they're coming from and, and read it. And hopefully cover your windows, doors, entryways, whatever you want to call it. The top floor of the building that they're walking on or whatever. I can't see the door entrance, but I am looking at the door. Yeah, I'm looking at the door. I don't know where Turner went to. Falling back. 
I'd like to point out again, just the just the defensive position that they got in this compound. Everyone is watching something. There's a window. They're watching every door. They're making sure everyone's got it covered. They keep talking to make sure that everyone's got it covered. If someone hears something, they're relaying it. This is a great defensive work by uh, the remaining militia here. All right, they're pushing in from the west side now. Made yep, noise east, blew up a bomb there. Even right now, they're tracking all three people and their movements just on the audio. They know exactly where they're at. I have eyes on the river hole. They're now on the west side of the compound. I mean, this is beautiful communication. It looks like Jack Reynolds is going to have a jump on him if they peek this murder hole here. We'll see what happens. Do you have any more nades? I got one more. I toss one through it. Oh, Dermoplast pulling out a grenade. He's going to try and throw it through this window, this murder hole. Let's see how it goes. Two to one odds. He, he bounces back into him. Oh, he gets it through. But it was Ooh. nothing. It was ineffective. The entire militia force is in buildings. They are totally, totally in position. Just waiting. This is great positioning. Oh, they spot him the murder hole. Part, it's gonna, yeah, for the most part, it's going to take a couple IED's days. IED is going to gonna be blown here. They're going to do it. Oh! 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 Before he goes down. The they got him all. They That's got him game. all at that IED. That's game. That's it. That is it. Oh, yeah. Boom! What an IED. That. What an IED. Who, whose IED was that? That was awesome. Got three of them with it. That was really awesome. Good game. That, that was much quicker. That was beautiful. That All right, let me, was amazing. I gotta see. I gotta see through that. Oh, oh my god, that was a fucking amazing IED. That maybe it was. I don't know whose IED that was, but it was great. That was that was quality. That was really quality. I'm still so, stunned that got them all. <laughs> yeah, what a round. That was awesome. What an yeah, end. High-paced, fast pitch, whatever you want to yeah, call it. That was a good guy. round. Definitely the, uh, the keep you on your toes, keep you watching the whole time. The best angle on that. that was good. also Hop yeah, Operation yeah. Home Guard on Samari. That's what the map was. That was the operation. We're a one-life event. We're squad ops. My name is Buff. I was here with Barton. We had a killer round tonight. We had Hutch, Kirkley, and Best Pony. All three of them were command at one point or another. Excellent squad leading by Jaffe, Satan, Best Pony, Shadow Ritual, Jack Reynolds, 30, OD Tap, Turtle Guy, 5, X-Bit, CG, Foo. You know what? I threw a shout out to someone earlier. I can't remember. I think it was CG Foo. CG Foo for stepping up. I think it was the first time actually being a squad leader this game or, or, or during squad ops. So big shout out to CG Foo stepping up, expanding his horizons. Also, in there, Jack Reynolds, being more comfortable stepped with up it. as well. And if you like it, Check us out at squadops.gg. You know, there's a link to our Discord there. We've got Twitter, Facebook, I don't know, all that other social media and shit going on. Uh, we sell T-shirts, crying out loud, if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, we do we have do this our multiple still times going a week. on. Yeah, go ahead, Barton. Uh, we're still going on. We do have our one-year uh, anniversary for uh, Squad Ops t-shirt sales. So that is still going on. I believe it's going to be ending uh, in the coming week here. So get it while you can. It's going, going to be the run of Monday, one. Monday, doesn't it? It ends Monday, but I believe we're going to be extending it uh, for a few more days after that. So oh, that's uh, awesome. That's awesome. But just it's in really case, cool. yeah, it's got I would... like the Squad Ops logo on the front. Yeah, you know, our, yeah. Our Great design. With the wings or whatever we got. Yeah, kind of in the top right of your screen, as you see the, uh, as you see in the stream. And then on the back, it's got every operation we've ever done and the premiere date for it, which is really cool. It's like uh, if you ever go to a concert and you buy the tick or the shirt with all the tour dates on the back, it's like that, except it's all our operations running down. And they're, and they're initial the first day that we debuted them. So yeah. that's really cool. It's a really Very cool, cool shirt, design. and I totally recommend getting it if you have any interest in squad ops at all. Uh, I'd also just say that, if uh... – any, any profits we make from it go straight towards our servers. You know, we've that's got true. multiple servers that that we keep up. We don't we don't ask for donations or anything. So buying those shirts is is the best way to help us. We we we've never asked for donations. I don't know if we plan on doing it in the future, but I, I really appreciate everyone coming and watching this tonight, and I hope everyone had a good time watching. 
Yeah, and if you guys enjoyed the stream, make sure uh, make sure you do follow us on, on Twitch. Hit the little follow button. It helps us out a lot. That way it gets more exposure for us, let you know uh, when we do this. I believe it's mostly on the Saturday nights, and then occasionally on Wednesdays. Wednesdays we'll do them as well. So hit us up with a follow, and uh, you'll know for sure. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know what? We won't keep you any longer. We had a good time tonight. I hope everybody else did. My name is Buff. I'm... My name is Muff. <laughs> I'm here with Spark. <laughs> uh, I like that. But we got to throw group. a shout out to our main man, Penn, the cameraman. He's making all this happen. I always clap for him. He's a beautiful person. And of course, the commanders, Hutch, Kirk Lee, best pony. Always, always big thing to step up and do that. You know what? We're going to leave you guys with some trailers. We've got our basic SOTT, our AWS trailer. Stuff like that, because we usually show that at halftime, but we didn't get the chance to tonight. So with that, we're going to fade out into the nothing and let you guys see some cool videos that we made about our uh, our training programs. Have a good night. And thanks good night, for watching. everybody.